All right, preseason is well underway. Um, and I kind of wanted to look at, you know, naturally with any preseason, any sports, um, you know, things happen, people overreact to them. Um, and I want to kind of sort through some of the madness and uh, think, uh, talk about like what's what might be legit, what uh, what we've seen so far that might persist to the um, regular season and beyond, and what you know is just like, well, yeah, it's preseason, like who cares, kind of thing. Because it goes both ways. I think uh, in any sport, sometimes you see guys that go off in the preseason, and then you know even first game of the regular season, it's like, oh yeah, no, he's who we thought he was. Um, and I think no one no one fits that kind of uh, mold right now better than Tyler Hero. Um, I mean, he showed up, showed out rookie year, bubble year. Um, and I think I, that kind of hurt him just like expectation-wise because, you know, I don't think he... Uh, I don't know, I don't think, like, this, he just kind of plateaued, like, he didn't, like, ascend, like, I think a lot of people, you know, might have thought he would, didn't shoot the ball, like, particularly amazing, um, and so now, you know, he said, he said this would be his year, and he's proven it so far in the preseason, he scored, like, at least 20 plus points in, like, 20, 25 minutes, um, now, yeah, that, that's what happened, but, you know, you have to ask, you know, who's that against? Where are those boys coming from? And, and, you know, like, who is he playing with? And so when you think about, you know, the Heat's, like, normal rotation, I mean, I, I don't even know Hero will start. Um, I think if he is playing more, like, second quarter and leading, like, the, the second unit, um, I could see it, but, like, there's... Uh, there's not a lot of minutes to go around in, in Miami if you think about, you know, if you start Lowry, you start Duncan, uh, Jimmy, Bam, and then I don't know if you go P.J. Tucker. Um, we'll see Oladipo health-wise. Maybe it is Hero. Um, you know, and then there's Markeith Morris. We'll probably get some minutes. Max Struess. Um, you know, so there, there's... I don't know if Tyler Hero will play 30 minutes a game, maybe around that area. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he if his scoring went up and production went up a little bit, um, but I can't see with that those many you know that many guys out there. I can't see him like improving his points per game by like six or seven. I think you know I could see it go up like three or four points. Um, but and I don't know like he's not gonna be an all star. Like we're we're gonna just you know, pump the brakes a little bit on Tyler Euro um, for now. We'll see, you know, come regular season, but I don't think we're good. We can't expect this kind of production from him in the regular season. I think that's fair. Uh, number two, uh, the Chicago Bulls uh, have won by like a lot of points uh, first two games, and that's cool and all. Um, I believe it was against Cleveland. And the Pelicans, uh, I don't think Pelicans didn't, like, Zion didn't play. I don't think Ingram played. So, I mean, yeah. Uh, and the Bulls, you know, are now having a bunch of new lineups. So they're playing their starters, you know, some to try, you know, so they can figure each other out a little bit. Um, you know, bringing Caruso and, and DeRozan and, you know, Vucevic hasn't been there that long. So, you know, they're, like, taking this, this preseason means a lot to them. Um in terms of finding, you know, fit and everyone kind of figuring everyone out. So I would expect that. I mean, Cleveland's doing the same thing, but they got a lot more like moving pieces and, you know, not as much talent or pressure to win. So, um, you know, I, I wouldn't expect the Bulls to win by like 40 both games, but like you'd expect them to probably, probably win, um, especially with their starters playing 20, 25 minutes. I'm not saying that the Bulls won't be good, because uh, I think they will be good. I don't know if they're, like, top tier in the East, maybe on paper. Um, it was cool to see kind of those guys with the ball flying around. Obviously, they're going to bring some highlight reel dunks and alley-oops and, and, you know, stuff like that. Um, I don't know, man. I mean, 
they are a squad when you think about Lonzo, DeMar, Levine, Vucevic, and Pat Williams. Like, that's crazy. And then you have Kobe White coming off the bench. Um, like, I, they're not, like, particularly deep. Um, you know, I talk about the DeRozan trade, like, when it happened, but, like, losing Thaddeus Young, I think, hurts a little bit. Um, you know, that's a team that could use some more, like, veteran leadership. Maybe they'll make a move for that kind of around the deadline. Um, but they're, they're primed to, uh, to compete for, you know, if I'm them right now, I'm not saying they'll do this, but if I'm them, I'm like, we could legitimately be like a top three team in the East. Uh, we've talked about how uncertain it up there, uh, it is between, you know, Kyrie, not really sure about the Nets, the Sixers with the Ben Simmons situation, Miami, maybe, um, is in conversations, Boston could, um, talked about them a little bit, their preseason game, like their new pieces, except for Josh Richardson, um, so, yeah, I think coming in, the Bulls, uh, have to, have to like their chances, especially, it just seems like everyone's playing hard, you know, everyone, uh, wants to prove that it can work, so, I think they'll put up a lot of points, uh, it'll be a question mark whether they can defend, um, and I think that'll carry through into the playoffs if they make it, um, so there's that, um, in terms of rookies so far, obviously Cade hasn't played yet. Jalen Green, you know, he's going to... I feel like there's a lot of guys, you know, that come into the league as, like, scorers. Um, and so, the, the, and like, Ant Edwards kind of was this too early on where it's like, all right, they'll, they'll score, like, 20 points, but, like, they'll go, like, 6 for 19 or something like that. You could see Jalen Green kind of falling into that category. Maybe not, not that bad, but... You know, when you're drafted and you're immediately one of the best players on the team, you're going to take a lot of shots. And just as a rookie trying to get up to speed, um, you know, it, it takes some time. So I could see him kind of following an Ant Edwards arc where, you know, starts off a little bit slow, obviously athletic, um, can definitely play in the NBA. It's just a matter of kind of, you know, figuring, getting a feel for kind of the pro game. Um talk about Jalen Suggs got to see him live I think he'll be solid Scotty Barnes uh had a good first preseason game not as good second game um I think he'll be fine I mean Toronto I've talked about you know, I wouldn't put him up with like the elite of the east or whatever but I still think they'll be you know in the middle of the pack and be in the playoff race for sure um and I think Scotty Barnes will be a part of that so um and if Nick Nurse if he's one of his guys like he's gonna play 30 35 minutes game I wouldn't be surprised Nick Nurse likes to put a lot of miles on, on his on his starters so um I think he's poised for it for a decent year um you know Franz Wagner not not too hot yet I mean he's probably one of the worst teams in the league so you can't expect a ton from him at this point um especially someone who who's a three-point shooter that that you know doesn't necessarily like create his own shot as much as knocks down like open threes created by other people. So that's uh, that's kind of to be expected, I guess. I don't know. Um, Kuming guys have played. Moody had like 10 points last night. I think you know Warriors are in a different situation than a lot of people. Just like a weird raw. They just have like a weird weird age gap now, where you got Curry and Thompson and Draymond, and then you have Wiseman, Kuminga, and Moody. And I would be interested to see how they how they figure all that out. Um, <laughs> so that's like that's a whole other thing. Um, and then in terms of like stars, I mean, LeBron played a little bit. Wasn't like I wouldn't say he was impressive. I, that's fine. I mean, it's not like like LeBron puts up 12 points in 25 minutes, or it's probably less than that. It's like, is LeBron James going to average 12 points this year? You know, like, it's it's ridiculous to really look into the preseason too much other than just just health, see how guys, like, actually are moving. I do think shooting can, because, I mean, regardless of who you play, I mean, maybe the shots are more open, but if you're knocking them down, I think you can feel good about that. Like, Malcolm Brogdon went, like, 12 of 14 from the floor. Um, I don't know, just because I have no idea, like, <laughs> so random um but maybe Malcolm Brogdon's been you know in the lab just hitting shots so that's exciting um 
especially if, if, if you can shoot like that. Um, not obviously like 90% every game. That would be nice. But, uh, you know, if he can shoot like a, a really, I mean, he's almost, I think he, I think he was, you know, 50, 40, 90. So he brings that to Indiana. That's a, that's a huge deal. Or they trade him for Ben Simmons, which I don't know, man. I think that's the wrong pacer to trade. I think if I'm their GM, I'm thinking Miles Turner might be the guy. They, they It's been kind of well chronicled how Sabonis and Turner like don't work together on the floor and they work better separately. And I think, you know, you commit to Sabonis over Turner. I was talking about Turner's like a shot blocker kind of guy. Um, but I feel like he goes for blocks versus just playing good defense. Like if he, he'll block three out of 10 shots, but like the other seven will go in versus blocking one shot, but contesting the other nine and only like four go in. So that's, that's that. Um, did not see this conversation going to Indiana Pacers, but that's just how we do it. Um, in other news, this was actually my last day of work. Um, I got in a fight a, a, with some guy about Rudy Gobert and he said, don't quit your day job. Um, but that's kind of what I just did. Um, I didn't really quit. I just set like a last date for it. So I don't know what that means for this channel. I don't know what it means going forward. I'll try and find other ways. I mean, I'll be driving some places around 12 minutes away like like work was. So I don't want to keep talking about NBA. It's actually starting up as I'm finishing, which sucks. Um, but I appreciate you guys. You know, thank you for, for watching this. If anyone watches this, um, I got up to 28 subscribers. I feel good about that. It was like 28 or something like that. We'll keep it going if if that's how we feel because um, I've enjoyed talking about this. So stay tuned. Uh, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna shut it down or that I'm gonna keep going at this point. I'll think about it. Um, and if I get the urge to uh, to film, then, then we'll film. So I appreciate you guys. Take care of yourselves. Take it easy. And I might see you next time.